It's just moving our arms a little bit, warming up our spine. And doing some rotations through our shoulders, big arms. Hi, Elsa. And back the other way. Good. Let's take some big breath in and stretching out through our arms. And breathing out as we go forward. Hi, Chrissy. Inhaling all the way up and exhaling all the way forward, giving the backs of your legs and your lower back a nice stretch. On the next one, we're going to go down and we'll stay there, folding our arms, doing a little figure of eight, just warming up our lower back and our hamstrings. Taking some nice deep breaths. And then taking our hands to the right side, stretching down the right side, taking the right toes out, pointing them out a little bit to the side. So having that leg fairly straight, stretching down the hamstrings on the right side. And then we're gonna walk our hands over to the left side and turn the left toe out. Just giving a nice stretch down there. And then we'll bring our hands to the middle. They can either be on the ground or you can have them on your shins. And we're going to go from side to side, having our chest up, just getting some nice stretch into our groin area, a little bit more of the legs. Good. And then coming up, let's do a little bit of wrists and also ankle. So just moving your wrists in a circular direction and same with your ankle. So you've got, you're on one leg there. So a little bit of balance here and then take it back the other way. It's getting some warmth into our joints. Nice. And then change to the other leg. So just turning your ankle in a circular direction and then go back the other way. Good, and let's do a couple of calf raises, just warming up through our feet and our ankles. Good. Okay, and then if you need to lean up against something for this next one, we're doing a quad stretch. So bringing your knees together and bring your heel up to your bottom. It's a nice stretch through the front of the quads. Chest up. Sit. Taking some nice deep breaths here. Good. And then we'll swap to the other side. Nice, okay, let that leg go down. Do a little bit more on the shoulders. So take your left arm across your body and take your right hand underneath the elbow and just draw that across to the right side, getting a little bit of a stretch through the left shoulder blade. And then switch to the other side. Good. So a nice stretch through that upper back. And then bringing our hands all the way up to the sky and exhale as you go down to one side, inhale to the center. And then exhale to the other. Do a couple more of these on each side. Just warming up our side. A little bit more of a stretch through the upper back and shoulders. Good. One more each side. Okay. I think we should be ready to start now. So can everybody hear me okay? Just give me a thumbs up if you can. Yep, good. Okay. Right, so we're going to do Tabata again. And we're going to start with knees up on the first set. 
So I'll just get this rolling for us. Starting session. Okay. So getting ready to start. So just bring your hands up in front and bring your knees up to your hands. Sit. This gives us a little bit of leg movement, a little bit of cardio. So we're doing 45 seconds again each each period of work and 20 seconds rest to transition to the next thing. Nice job. Keep it going. Got 15 seconds to go. Keep those knees up nice and high. Chest up as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, next one we're going to do a squat with a press. So if you have a, a weight there, you can grab the weight. If you find, if you've got any issues with your back or shoulders, you don't have to do the press or any blood pressure issues. So we'll be squatting down and pressing all the way up. Or if you don't want to do the press, you can just squat. Nice. So when you're squatting down, Try and keep your chest up nice and tall so your body's not falling forward. Having your feet about hip width apart and toes pointing slightly out. Nice. Breathing in as you go down, breathe out as you come up. Five seconds to go. Okay, nice work. The next one we're gonna do a deadlift. So I'll just show you what that looks like. You find the gaze point, shoulder height, and you bring your weight at the front and you're going to keep your eyes on that gaze point, run the weight down your legs to about shins, and then use your hips and butt to explode you up. So keeping the back nice and flat is really important. So this one's working hamstrings, hips, and through the, the buttock area, firing up your engine room. You can go a little heavier with this weight too. I've got a four kilo here, but it's a little light. You could take it up to even a 10 kilo. Good work. 15 seconds to go. So just keeping the backs nice and straight. That's it, good. Keeping your gaze point, making sure you're looking ahead at sh the shoulder height, that keeps your back nice and flat. I don't want anybody irritating their lower backs. Good job. Next one, we're gonna do a wall set. So find yourself a wall that is close by. I'm gonna hopefully just use this one. Okay, three, Two and one, good job. So you're up against the wall. You, your thighs should be parallel to the ground. If you put a pen on the, on the ground, on your legs, it shouldn't um, roll off. And if this one doesn't work for you, you can do what Penny's doing, do some squats. It's awesome. 25 seconds to go. So this one's great if you're going to go skiing this year. Get your thighs nice and strong so you can tear up the powder. I think that's what Chrissy's going to be doing. Okay, three, two, and one. Come up from there. Give your legs a shake. And then pick your weights up for some bicep curls. I'm going to use a bar today for my biceps. So ideally, if you've got two or three kilos in each hand, would be good. Okay, so chest up nice and tall, soft knees, core on, and you're coming up. So you bring your hands up towards your shoulders and then controlling them, lowering them down to your legs. Good. So you breathe in as you go down, breathe out as you come up. Nice. So nice and controlled, have the movement move with your breath, nice and slow. 
Good job. There's six of us today and it's really good because I can see you all pretty well. And everyone's going great guns today. Right, next one we're gonna do some calf raises. So you can find a spot near a wall if you want or you can just lift up where you are. These are good to do on a step as well but you probably don't have a step handy. So we're going to be just lifting up through our heels. Okay. Okay, so we're lifting all the way up and all the way down. Just nice and slow again. Do it with your breath. Breathing in as you go down and breathing out as you come up. And this might feel pretty easy now, but as we get closer to 45 seconds, your calves are going to start screaming. It's a good one to help us strengthen through our calves, our Achilles and all the muscles under our feet. That's it, keep it going. Good, we've got five seconds to go. Nice, okay. Give your calves a little shake. Next one is a cable row, so having your stretchy bands handy. So with this one, taking your dominant leg back, chest up nice and tall, and you're gonna be pulling back and squeezing through your upper shoulder blades. That's it. If you don't have a stretchy band, you can just do it just like that. Just squeezing back through your, um, through your chest and through your upper back and shoulders. But if you've got a band, just make sure you've got enough tension on it. Core on, chest up. Breathing out as you pull back, keeping your elbows close to your body and really squeezing through the upper back. Good work. Okay, let that one go. Now we're gonna head down to the, to the ground. We're going to start with a plank. So you can do your plank on your knees or your toes. You can do it on your forearms or with straight arms. I'm going to do forearms on my toes. <laughs> Keeping your body nice and flat. If you're going to do it on your knees, make sure you've got a straight line from your shoulders to your knees. If you've got your bottom tucked in and hips forward. So this one's working out deep abdominals. That's it. Keep it strong. You've got 15 seconds to go. Four, three, two, and one. Bring your knees down and bring your bottom down to your heels. Just give that a little stretch through your lower back. And then flip over onto your back. And if you've got your two weights there you used for your biceps, put them on either side of you. We're going to do a bridge with a press. So bring your feet in, heels nice and close to your buttocks. And you're going to go up into a bridge position like this. So hips nice and high, squeeze your butt. And then we're going to use the weights to do a press at the same time. So you've got your hips up as high as you can, really squeezing through your butt. Breathing out as you press up and breathing in as you bring it down. So we're working through legs, glutes, lower core, shoulders and arms. And you get a nice stretch through your neck if you bring your chin to your chest. So you just keep that one strong. Good work. And lower your body down and pop your weights back down on the ground. Now we're going to go on to our knees. We're going to do an alternate arm and leg lift. So in a neutral position on your knees, if you can. If you need a little bit more support, like a towel or something under your knees, you can put that there. 
On the inhale, we're gonna lift alternate leg and arm, keeping our back nice and flat. Exhale, bring them back down. That's it. So gazing just a little bit forward and thinking about really lengthening. So lengthening out through the hand and the foot, keeping your back nice and still. So this is working on hips, core, and arms and really strengthening through the back. 10 seconds to go. Good work. Okay, and then coming back on to your back again, we're gonna do bicycle crunches next. So the bicycle crunches, you can have your fingertips behind your head and you can bring elbow to knee. You can keep one foot on the ground if you want. That's the easier version. Or if you want to challenge yourself, you can take your feet off the ground. So you choose what's right for you. So this is working upper and lower abs. And you're nice and supported by the ground through your lower back. So deep breathing, breathing out as you bring your elbow to your knee. Let's keep this one strong. It's quite difficult. This one's a challenge, so feel free if you need to have a rest, you can have a rest. That's it, finish it off. Good work. And then hug your knees to your chest. Give your lower back a nice little little massage. And then the next one is another ab one. This is a V sit. So we're gonna sitting on your bottom and we're gonna try to take, you can take one foot off the ground with your arms beside your knees, or you can take two feet off the ground. Just play with it to see what works for you. You can alternate your feet if you want. It's deep breathing. You'll really feel this one in the abs. If you start to feel your lower backs hurting a little bit, feel free to rest. Just play with it, just alternating your legs. If you're really strong, you can just go into a V-sit like this. It's deep breathing. Good work. Okay, well done everyone. That's one set done. We'll just pause this pause for now and have a quick drink. I'll just come and see how everyone's going. Perhaps if you could just take your self off mute if you've got anything you want to let me know about. How's everyone going? Fine. Awesome. Yeah. Fine. All good. Is that V I couldn't see you because I sit on the floor and my thing's up high. Um, you have your arms out like that as well and your... Which one was that for? The last one, the V-sit. Oh, you have your arms along your legs. So you, I'll just show you the position. So you're picking your feet up, you have your arms there. Yeah. Or you can actually... So you, alternate your feet. If your arms are out, it's much harder. Yeah, yeah, no so just, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're making it hard on yourself. Okay. Okay. Anybody else got any questions or any comments? No? Okay. So let's um, grab yourself a drink and then we'll do another set. Just pop your on mute again. Right. Okay, quick drink. Just m make sure you've got no weights in your way so you don't trip over them. We're gonna do skaters for our first one. So I'm just moving everything out of the road here. Stopping, starting session. Okay, so with the skaters, chest up nice and tall. And you step to the side and then put your foot behind, step to the other side, foot behind. As you get into the rhythm, 
You can add some arms in as well. So squeeze through your shoulder blades, keeping your chest up nice and tall. That's it, just moving from side to side. So there's a little bit of cardio, a little bit of movement through the legs and the arms. Deep breathing, get your heart rate up a little bit. Nice. You look like ice skaters, all you guys look fabulous. Good, nearly there. Radio. Next one, we're going to do the squat with a press. So grab yourself a weight for that. If you've got one there handy. So we're going to bring the weight up to our chest. Keep it nice and close to your chest. And as we squat down, we're going to have our legs shoulder width apart, toes pointing out. Squat down, press up. That's it. Keeping your chest up nice and tall. Good. Having your feet nice and flat, heels and toes on the ground. Twenty seconds to go. As you reach out, really stretching through your tummy. Good work. Okay, next one's the deadlift. So if you've got two weights, you can add a little bit more weight to it this time. And remember the form. Make sure that you find your gaze point at about shoulder height. So as you slide the weight down your legs, you're keeping that gaze point so your back's nice and flat. And then come up, squeeze your butt, hips forward. Okay. Just have a look at what everyone's doing. That's it. Yeah, so just make sure you've got your gaze point there, Penny, so your back's nice and flat. It's good. Yep. That looks good, Chrissy. Yeah, good, Elsa. Just keep keep your eye on that gaze point so your back's nice and flat. Yep, yours looks good, Deb. And Jenny, yeah, just, just slow down a little bit, Jenny, and look at your gaze point straight ahead so your back's flat. Good. Okay, just finish that off. We've got five seconds to go. Nice. Okay, next one's a wall sit. So find yourself a piece of wall. Radio. Good, so resting your back against the wall, your knees are bent, your thighs are parallel to the ground. So if you find you're up a bit high, you might be able to slide down a little bit more. See how that feels on your knees. And if this doesn't feel comfortable, you can do what Penny's doing and do a few more squats, which is good. There's always an alternative. You should never do anything that doesn't feel right or there's any pain because uh, that's not what we're here for. We're here to get fitter and stronger and not injure ourselves. That's it. Nice work. You've got five seconds to go. Just finish it off. Good work. Okay, come up off the wall. Give your legs a shake. It's pretty intense. And pick up your weights for your bicep curls. So ideally, a two and a half, three kilos. Probably tops four is all you need for this. Okay, chest up. Okay. So bringing the weights up towards your shoulders, core on, soft knees. Breathe out as you come up. Nice and controlled, nice and slow. Beautiful. So this is working the front of our arms, our biceps. That's it, good work. Just deep breathing as you go. 10 seconds more. Good job. Okay, the next one, you can change your grip 
and still hold the weight if you like because we're going to do the calf raises but if you have a little bit of weight in your hands that'll just make it a little bit more intense so we've got five more seconds here then we're off okay let's go so lifting your heels all the way up as high as you can slowly lower them down to the ground and then all the way up so this one is a good little one for balancing as well. That's it. And if you're holding your weights, it just makes it a little bit harder on your calves. Got 25 seconds to go. That's it, deep breathing. Doesn't look like we're doing much, but I can sure feel it in my calves now. This is a good one to strengthen up through the bottom of your feet as well. So helping to prevent some plantar fasciitis. So a lot of golfers actually suffer from that. Good work. Okay, dropping down your weights now. And we're gonna do cable row next. Okay, so we've got our dominant leg back, chest up. And we're gonna bring our elbows close to our body squeeze through our shoulder blades I can smell the sweet smell of petrol fumes somebody's decided to blow their leaves across the road nice work just keep it going deep breathing Really good one to strengthen up through the shoulders and correct your posture if you've been doing a lot of computer work or looking at your phone a lot or a lot of driving. Good work. Okay, let's give that a little shake. And then we're coming down to the mat for a plank. So you can do it however works for you today on your knees. If you have a nice straight line from your knees to your shoulders or you can do it on your toes and you can have your arms straight or you can have your arms down on your fore forearms up to you whichever you want to do I'm going to do on my hands this time this is requires a bit more work on your wrists so just see what feels right for you it's deep breathing Ten seconds to go. Keep it strong. Good work. And then bring your knees down. Take your butt down to your heels into child's pose. Give that a nice stretch through your lower back. And then get ready on your back for some bridges. Have your weights handy so you can do the press as well. So heels nice and close to your bottom. Lift up through your hips, squeeze your butt, and then introduce the press. So you're pressing straight up, keeping your body up in the bridge position the whole time. Really keeping your hips high, squeeze your glutes, through, squeeze through the butt. Imagine you've got a $100 note between your butt cheeks, and it's a windy day, you don't want it to blow away. So really squeeze through that area. Breathing out each time you press the weight up towards the sky. Notice how this is feeling on your arms and your legs and your butt. Okay, drop the weights down. Next one, we're going to be on our hands and knees in a neutral position, doing alternate leg and arm lifts. So nice and flat through the back. Hands underneath your armpits, knees underneath your hips. We're going to lift alternate leg and arm on the inhale, really lengthening out through the hand and the foot. Rather than lifting, we're lengthening, keeping our body nice and stable. Imagine you've got a glass, a bowl of water on your back and you're trying not to spill it. 
So inhale each time you lift and exhale as you bring your knee and your hand to the mat. I'm just gonna come and have a look and see how you're doing this. Okay, good. Well done. Now onto your back, we're gonna do bicycle crunches. So again, you can have one foot down, just the fingertips behind the head so you don't strain your neck. And we're going to be bringing our elbow to our knee. So you can either have your foot on the ground or you can raise your foot up if you want to go a little bit more intense. It's up to you. Deep breathing on this one. Keeping it strong, finish it off. Good job, and then hug your knees up to your chest, a little circle on your lumbar spine. And then the last one we're gonna do is the one that Penny was asking about is the V-sit. So we're starting off in sitting position, our arms are straight out, pushing against our knees, and you can lift alternate leg like this, or if you're a bit stronger, you can have both feet up and hold that. It's up to you, whichever works for you. If you find your lower back hurts, then um, just, just relax and hug your knees up to your chest. Deep breathing on this one. This one's quite a challenge. I thought I'd throw this one in put the cat amongst the pigeons. <sighs> Got 15 seconds to go. <sighs> Deep breathing. <sighs> Good work. Okay, and then hug your knees up to your chest. Second round done. Well done, ladies. Okay, grab a drink. I think we've got time for one more run through. We might just get straight into it, eh? So we're standing up, we'll start with knees up. Let's go. That's it, bring your knees up nice and high. Working hard today. Fifteen seconds to go. Good work. Okay. Next one is our squat press. So grabbing your weight for that. Starting to get quite warm. I guess you guys are too. Okay, bring the weight up to your chest. Okay, squat it now and pressing up. Good work. Good work. Breathe in as you go down. Breathe out as you come up. Nice stretch through the abdomen. Ten seconds to go. Good work. Okay, next one is deadlift. So if you've got a second weight you can grab. A little bit more weight is good on the deadlifts. 
And again, remembering the form, it's really important to do it in the correct way so you don't irritate your lower back. So you're holding the weights at the front of your legs, finding your gaze point at chest height, slide the weights down your legs, just below you know, your knees to the shin, and then come up, squeeze your butt, hips forward. It's a nice flat back. Good work. So breathing in as you go down, breathing out as you come up. So it's a sort of slow on the way down, a bit more explosive on the way up, exploding from your hips and glutes. Good work. Okay, that one's done. Pop your weight down. We're going to do wall sit next. Okay, so finding your spot on the wall, slide down till your thighs are parallel with the floor. That's it, good job. So sitting here, nice and strong through the thighs, deep breathing. We'll be here for another 35 seconds. So deep breathing. 15 seconds to go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Give that a shake. Three of those today. Well done. That's awesome. Now we're going to grab. Uh, our weights for our bicep curls. So nice soft knees, cores on, chest up, and you're bringing the weight up to your chest and then controlling it down. Good to work. That's it. So it's nice and controlled. Take, do it with your breath, breathing out as you come up, breathing in as you go down. Fifteen seconds to go. So the gym's opening up again tomorrow. See how that goes with social distancing. Rips. Next one, we're going to come down to. Oh, we're staying up. Calf raises. In fact, you can keep that weight in your hand for your calf raises. Yeah, so the gyms are opening again tomorrow. You can only use every second piece of equipment in the gym so that there's enough social spacing. So that'll be interesting to see how that goes. It's expected that people will probably wait a few weeks and just see what happens if we get a second wave or not before they venture back in. So lifting all the way up through the heels, starting to feel that a little bit. We've got 10 seconds to go. So it's good strengthening for your calves, your Achilles, and the muscles underneath your feet. Good work. Okay, cable row is next. So pop your weight down, grab your row, cable row, stretchy band. Take your dominant leg back, chest up. And we're going to be bringing our hands back, elbows close to the body, squeezing through the upper shoulder blades. Exhale as we pull back. Inhale as we take our hands forward. And gazing forward, keeping your spine nice and aligned.
10 more seconds here. Good work. Okay, you're done on that one. Then we're down onto the ground for our plank. Okay, so I'm gonna go four arms and toes this time. You go whatever feels right for you, toes or knees, four arms or on your straight arms. Coming into position, bringing your hips down so that they're nice and straight, nice and level. Having a straight line from your shoulders to your knees if you're on your knees. Making sure your bottom's not stuck up in the air. Good work. Deep breathing, got 20 seconds to go. This is working your deep abdominals. Nice and strong. Good work. And bring your knees down, go into child's pose, give that a little stretch. And then Brad, grab your weights, bring it across. We're gonna do the bridge with a press next. So on your back, heels close to your bottom. Lifting up through the hips, high as you can, squeeze your butt cheeks, and then add the press in. Having your chest nice and high, bringing your chin to your chest. Breathing out as you press up, and breathing in as you control the weight down. Lots of oxygen in to oxygenate all your cells in your body. Deep breathing. Squeeze that butt. Good job. Okay, and slowly bring your spine down and put the weight on the ground as well. And then back over onto our knees for alternate arm and leg. So nice flat back, hands underneath your shoulders, hips, and knees aligned. Inhale, lift, alternate leg and arm, keeping the back nice and flat. Exhale, bring it back to the mat and go to the other side, really stretching out, strengthening up through our back and our hips. Good work. And the gaze point should be about a meter in front of where your hands are. So you've got a nice aligned spine. Good work. Okay, back onto our back. We're gonna do bike crunches. Okay, so fingertips be behind your head and bring your elbow to your knee. That's it, going from side to side, deep breathing, working your upper and lower abs in this one, but with a nice ground underneath you to protect your lower back. Go at whatever intensity works for you, either feet off the ground or one foot on the ground. It's your call. Whatever you can do today, whatever you can manage, every day our body's different. Certainly getting the blood pumping today, raising our vibration and our well being. Okay, last one. Penny's favorite, we're gonna do the V-sit. So coming up onto your bottom, legs bent, feet on the ground, having your arms along the side of your legs and we're gonna lift, alternate leg. Just take your feet off the ground. If you want, you can take both feet up and hold it. 
whatever works for you. This one's quite intense. This is our little mystery one, our little exercise to play with. It's hard for all of us. Let's keep, keep it on. Got 20 seconds to go. You can do it. This deep breathing. Ten seconds. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Roll back and hug your knees up to your chest. Excellent work, ladies. That's three sets. That'll be enough for today, I think. <laughs> Grab yourself a drink and then we're going to do some stretches. <sighs> Stopping session. Now, I'm going to come and ask you about your body. So think about an area of your body that you'd like a stretch for and we'll make sure it's customised. So just take yourself off mute if you've got a particular area that you'd like stretched and I'll make sure I include it in. Okay, any, any takers? My shoulders, Jenny. Shoulders, okay. For me, Jenny, anything that helps with osteoporosis, bone strength. Okay, where is, where is the, um, have you got any pain? Or no, where is the area? No, not just special overall. pain, just, just overall bone strength. Oh, okay. Okay, well, that's what we just did, actually. All of that is good for bone strength. Good. Yeah, it's all good. good. What about anybody else? If you can't take it off mute, just point to the area of your body. Oh. Okay. Well, we will get started. I'll just put you back on mute. Okay. So we've got shoulders and I'm going to add some back for Elsa because you had a sore back a few days ago. So let's start with shoulders. Okay. Oh, I think, Deb, you're, you're just taking yourself off mute there now. Oh, am I? Sorry. <laughs> no worries. That's it. So just rolling your shoulders through. Good job. And then back the other way. And then step forward so you've got enough room. Take your arms in big circles. That's it. And then go the other way. So getting a really big movement through the shoulders. And then we're going to put our fingertips on our shoulders. And we're going to move our elbows in a big circle and try and get your elbows to meet at the front. I can't do it. My shoulders don't have enough give in them, but most other people can. So you imagine you're drawing a circle with your elbows and then we're going to go back the other way to still get them to come to meet each other at the front. It's a really big movement. One more. Good. And then give them a little shake. Okay, and we're adding some neck. So moving our head from side to side. I can hear a whole lot of crunching in my neck. You probably can too. And then lifting your gaze up to the sky or the ceiling and then bringing your chin to chest. So a nice stretch through the back of the neck. And then take your left arm, put it across your body and bring your right hand just near the elbow and bring that across. So you're really giving your left shoulder blade a good stretch. That's it. And then ease it off and go again. Nice. And then let's go to the other side. So right arm across, left hand near the right elbow, just bringing that across. Good. Okay. Now let's see, let's do some other stretches as well. Some, let me think. Let's go into a position on the ground on all fours. We'll do a few cat cows, they're good for the back as well, good for the spine. So you've got your back nice and flat. As you inhale, I want you to lift up through your chest and lift your gaze. So you've got a nice curve in the lower back area. And then exhale, bring your spine up towards the ceiling. Arch up like that harbour bridge. And look through your legs to your toes. And then inhale, lift your chest again, lift your gaze. Exhale, lifting up through your back, gazing through to your feet. 
to your toes. Let's do a couple more of those. Good. Okay. And we'll do a little lower back one. So what I want you to do is to take your right knee and bring it forward towards your right hand and then spin the foot out a little bit to the side, to the left side of the mat. So you've got your right knee on the right side of the mat and your right foot towards the left side. And you've got your left leg um, sliding it back a little bit. So you've got your, uh, your hands on the mat and you should be starting to feel a nice stretch through your glutes. And then if you find that you can drop down a little lower for a bit more intense stretch, you can drop down a little lower and some deep breathing here. This will help to release through the glute area. We did a lot of glute work today with the deadlifts and, and with other things as well. So we're trying to loosen off this area that will then free up our lower back which is a common area that people suffer a little bit of pain. And then as you inhale, bring your hands back up to the mat, come back up and then slide your knees back together. And then take your left knee forward towards your left hand and the left side of the mat. And then take the left foot out. You can just move it with your hands a little bit to something that's comfortable and very gently slide back through the right foot, have your chest up nice and tall and you will start to feel a little bit of stretching through the left glute. If you can come down a little lower, it'll intensify a little more. Just taking a few deep breaths here, noticing the stretching. Good. One more breath, and then on your next inhalation, bring your hands to the mat and slide that knee back. So you've got you back up to all fours again and we're going to tuck our toes under spread out through our hands and push away through our hands and lift up our hips into a downward dog and from this position we're going to paddle our heels down towards the ground stretching out through our calves we did quite a lot of calf work today just stretching those out this also stretches a little bit through the shoulders and back Good. And then drop your knees down to the mat. And sitting down on your bottom with your legs out in front of you. Okay. And we're going to inhale, lift our arms up. And exhale, we're going to take our hands towards our shins or ankles. We're going to gaze at our feet so we've got a nice straight back. If you can grab your toes grab them and pull your toes back as well. We're gonna stay here for a few breaths and on each exhale, bring your chest a little closer to your legs. You're keeping your gaze at your toes. So feeling a nice stretch through the calves, the hamstrings, the lower back. And then release that, come back up into a seated position. Bring your left foot against your right foot and come up nice and tall again on your sit, sit bones. Nice tall spine. And then again, inhale, bring your arms up and exhale, take the arms forward, either to your shins or if you can grab your toes, grab the toes and bring them back a little. Again, gaze point is at your toes so that you've got um, a nice lengthening through the spine. And this will you should notice a little bit of stretching through the left side of your lower back, perhaps a little bit through the ITB from the hip to the knee. And on each exhalation, just going a little deeper into the stretch. Good, and then release it, coming back up. And then swap your legs over, so you've got your right foot next to your left leg, coming up nice and tall on your sit bones. And then inhale, lift your hands all the way up, Exhale, folding forward and bringing your hands down to your left leg. Gaze point as your toes. You might find that one side is a little tighter than the other. I'm certainly tighter on this side. So you might not be able to stretch as far forward. That's kind of normal. Taking some deep breaths here. Again, each exhale, 
try and go a little deeper if you can. And then release. Take both legs out the front again and we'll go back to our first position. Inhale, lift our arms all the way up. Exhale, bring our hands towards the feet. Now you probably find that there's a bit of difference now, just that the combination of those three stretches really does get you a little bit more movement in your body, which is really important. And then release that and bring your soles of your feet together. And again, nice and aligned through the spine, nice and tall through the spine. Bring your hands to your ankles and gently using your elbows to push down a little bit on your knees, giving you a stretch through your um, groin area. Good. And then going down into a position where you're laying on the ground, but keep that butterfly position with your legs. So going down, laying down, bringing your hands to your inner thighs. Just taking a few deep breaths and letting the weight of your hands open up your groin a little bit more. And then bring your feet to the ground. So you've still got your knees bent, you've got your feet on the ground, arms out to the side. And we're gonna take both knees to the right side while we look to the left. And then go to the other side. So we'll go from left to right, a bit like windscreen wipers. Just getting a little bit more movement through the lower back. A little bit of a twist in the spine. Good. And then hugging your knees up to your chest and doing some circles on your lumbar spine, going in a clockwise direction. And then do a couple the other way as well. And then coming up to a seated position. You can either be sitting on your haunches, on your, with your bottom to your heels, or you can sit flat on, on the ground if you find that's better on your knees. And we're just going to go from side to side. So we're going to put the right hand down on the mat, bring the left hand over the top. So stretching through the left side. And then take the left hand down, bring the right hand over the top. And that's it. We just go from side to side. Just giving a nice stretch through the back area. Okay, and give your shoulders a little bit more of a roll through. And you're done. Excellent work, everybody. That was a great effort. Three goes through high intensity. Let's see how everyone take yourself off mute. We'll have a quick chat before we finish up. How's everyone? Thanks, Jen. That was good. Good. Excellent. That was very good. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Well done. All good. Wonderful, Jenny. All, Thanks so much. You all did really well. Have a great weekend. You too. And, uh, yeah. Thanks. And, uh, hopefully see you the next time. See you. See you next time. Next. Okay then. Thanks, Jen. Okay. Bye. See you later. Bye. Thanks, bye. Okay. Bye.